Greetings everyone and welcome back to Age of Empires 2 Definitive Edition with me, Kemset. We're going to be continuing on with the custom campaign with Dondolo in Mission for Enrico Dondolo and the Fourth Crusade. And I also have a secondary channel called anti Clipper. <laughs> what the hell, these people making these multiple channels and all? I don't get it. Anyway, for those who want to play custom campaigns and scenarios, make sure you present on the main menu. Go to the settings, press the mods button, and from there on, you'll see a magical search bar. Well, you have to write Dondolo on the search bar and find the respective language which you can communicate with. And from there on, you'll be able to play through the uh, campaign once you subscribe to it let it download to you by your pc and then you'll be able to follow my footsteps by a few more buttons pressing to come over here and enjoy playing through the campaign but until then feel free to watch me playing it through any other content creators so we have some fun as that is the sole reason behind gaming etc now, Enrico Dondolo, the 4th Crusade, 1202, after a passionate call from the Pope, the best knights in Europe have gathered in the Venice to travel from the Holy Land. However, they were unable to raise enough gold for pay for Venice support and ships. Desperately, they accept an un unusual offer from the ever-cunning Enrico Dondolo. For a year, by order of Dandolo, trade and economy in Venice stood still. All land and resources were needed to construct a large new fleet for the crusade. So Venice fulfilled its part of our contract. 85,000 silver marks for a safe journey to the Holy Land. When the people saw the 200 new wonderful warships, with the huge banners, oars and sails, Armed with mangonels and Greek fire, it was clear to everyone that this was truly the most marvelous fleet Christianity had ever built. Our army arrived in Venice in the summer of 1202. We were 10,000 brave knights from all the good kingdoms of the West. We had our faith, our weapons and our determination with us. What we did not have with us were the promised silver marks. We were fools when we believed that an army of poor knights would be able to raise such amounts of gold. It was a disaster for both us knights and the Serenissima. However, Dandulu was still a master of improvisation, or had he already seen all of this coming and secretly prepared his plan in advance? The Doge told us that he was very sorry for our precarious situation, but we should not worry. He knew another way for us to pay our debts. We should just attack the rich city of Sorrow and the Adriatic together and share the loot. My heart wanted to say no, but as if Dandolo had casted a spell on us with his clever words, we agreed to his scheme. At the same time as he had advanced this proposal, the Doge bound himself closer to our cause. We called together the citizens of Venice along with the leading crusaders to the Basilica San Marco. There he raised his voice to speak to us. I am an old man, weak and in need of rest, and my health is failing. But please allow me to take the cross. Deeply moved, the crowd cried their approval. We beg you in God's name to take the cross. and so he joined us on the crusade in person. The Pope waged, Sorrow was a Christian city after all. He threatened us with excommunication and worse. Then Dulu advised us to keep this a secret at all costs, and we agreed. If the other knights had found out about the enormous disapproval of the Pope, this would certainly have been the end of our venture. When the siege of Sorrow began, the desperate citizens put crosses on their walls to show that this was a Christian city. It should not help them fall. Yep. Hope intended to as possible, so 
he sent his loyal monks out to urge the envoys to leave. The mood in the camp was tense. Skeptical glances were exchanged between the knights. Oh well. Shit happens. So what do we do now? Uh, Enrique Dondola and the Fourth Crusade defeat Zara by destroying their wounded boat. Want to prevent the Crusade from attacking Zara and will send mis missionaries to camp. Once there, they will spread false rumors and so fear and distrust in the heart of men. You have to be careful when dealing with the papal envoys. Killing them will only arouse suspicion among the Crusades. Instead, try to convert them with your own monks. Try the siege is lost in the papal. If the in papal envoys are able to convert five or more units or if you kill more than five papal envoys. Hints! When a new envoy appears, it is best to stop him quickly before he can cause problem in the camp. Use monks to convert the enemy uh, in convert the envoys. Zara has decided to defend itself by all means and will also try to break the siege with a Sally. Note that your relation with the Crusaders is very tense and that everyone is here about to slit each other's throat at any moment. Queries are rare here. Walls and palisades are not available to Venice. Your population limit is 100. Hmm. Scouts, Enrico Dondolo and the Venetians One Orange have landed on a stretch of coast east of Zara. Start to build a camp there. The Crusaders Grey and Venice are allies. They're a divided group and some me some of them may well attack Venetians if things do not go according to plan. Simon Montefort for Blue and his entourage are part of the crusade, but do not want to particip participate in attack on the Christian city. He has set up a camp from uh, far from the rest of the crusaders. Zara to Rand enjoys the support of the Hungarian king and is well fortified with towers and strong walls. Zara trades experience across Bowman and has excellent knights and a fleet. The Pope of Five Purple is threatening all crusaders with exclusion from the church. This must be kept secret from the soldiers under all circumstances. Stop his missionaries before they cause too many problems. This section does not contain gameplay information but rather history. Okay, sure. The Siege of Zara was the first major act of the Fourth Crusade and the first against the Catholic city by Chris Catholic Crusaders. Uh, the Crusaders had an agreement with the Venetians of for transport across the sea. But the price far exceeded what they were able to pay. Venice set the condition that the Crusaders helped them to capture Zara, a constant battleground between Venice on one side and Hungary on the other. The Crusader fleet left Venice during the first week of October 1202, following an emotional and rousing ceremony in San Marco de Venezia, where Dondolo took the cross. The Crusaders arrived in Zara in November. Dondolo gave the Zarans an ultimatum, either to leave the city right away or they will be killed. Confusion ensued as a Pope Innocent forbade the Crusade from settling the dispute unrelated to their original religious agenda, especially since the land was controlled by King Emmerich of Hungary, who had himself participated in, the, in a crusade. Finally, Innocent threatened excommunication to anyone who antagonized the Zarans. The Crusaders attacked the city anyway, and it last fell on 24th November 1202. All of the members of the Crusaders were thus excommunicated, but Dondolo kept this secret from them since he knew they would abandon the Crusade if they found out. Following the capture of the city, widespread violence erupted between Frankish and Venetians contingents over the disruption of plunder. Over 100 crusaders were killed until the leaders of the crusade could finally restore order. Sure. So this is the... okay. I'm not gonna create any other stuff right now, but we should definitely try to do our best. We definitely need a little more men and all. We need to look around where we can find. Because we need to destroy Zara. As the army approached the city, we saw the many crosses which the defenders had placed on the walls. They should remind us that Zara was a Christian city under the protection of the Lord. 
I mean, it's not really being protected by the Lord at all. Okay. Search around and see what we can find. Let's get our food like this. Quick. Another android was approaching the Crusaders camp. It had to be stopped one way or another. Good. Not all Crusaders wanted to take part in the attack on Zara. One of them was Simon de Montfort, who had set up his camp far away from the city. He wondered suspiciously why the Crusaders wanted to attack a Christian city for Venice. We should have left from Jerusalem long ago. We don't care. We're getting nice food and we'll continue on as much as we can. The Venetian sailors told us an adventurous story. A ship from Amalfi, loaded with fabulous treasures, is said to have sunk here on the coast many years ago. The lost gold was still to be found here somewhere. Oh Madonna, in their greed, the Venetians found the sunken ship with the lost gold in the end. That's good. Another envoy was approaching the Crusaders' camp. He had to be stopped one way or another. We'll stop him. The citizens of Zara were disgusted that the Lola had talked us into this godless raid. Just 
too bad for them, dude. I don't care. We do need to continue on with this, though. What if I build the castle here? Okay, I'm fine here. Another envoy was approaching the Crusaders camp. He had to be stopped one way or another. Keep two monks here. Bring it in, boys. The flagship can stay here. was approaching the crusaders camp. He had to be stopped one way or another.
Well, I think we got enough now. Nice. Another envoy was approaching the Crusaders' camp. He had to be stopped one way or another. Damn it, that led to a bad moment. Extremely disgusted by the ongoing siege of a Christian city, Simon de Montfort wrote to protect Sarah from his former brothers in arms. I'm gonna kill these guys since this was inevitable to happen. Damn it. I reckon this is now good, I don't know. If I destroy his base game, you should be fine, right? Everyone get back to work. I'll still hear some money then. Another envoy was approaching the Crusaders camp. He had to be stopped one way or another. That they come from different places is nice, but also annoying at the same time. My Another 
Another envoy was approaching the Crusaders' camp. He had to be stopped one way or another. You stopped him. Good. Well, let's make it even more harder for them to screw around with this. approaching the crusaders camp he had to be stopped one way or another what oh come on hamster this is just annoying approaching the crusaders camp. He had to be stopped one way or another. Destroyed, be gone. Goodbye. There. After thirteen days of siege, the city of Sorrow finally is ruined. Suddenly, Horns heralded an important visit. We were confused when an Alexius Angelos, the heir to the Byzantine Empire, entered our camp. What was the meaning of this? We captured the city. The frightened citizen left Sarah and we were able to ransack the house. We robbed everything of value. But in the end it was less gold than we expected. Since in winter a long sea journey was unthinkable, the army spent the following month in Sarah and we discussed how to proceed further. On a cold December evening, an unexpected visitor suddenly arrived at the camp. 
The stranger introduced himself to us as Alexius Angelos. The young man told us that he was the one true heir to the Byzantine Empire. However, his malicious uncle had exiled him from Constantinople. He got straight to the point. The Crusaders should overthrow Alexius' uncle and help him become the new emperor of Byzantium. As the new emperor, he could then give us the unbelievable sum of 300,000 silver marks and provide us with any military aid we would need to conquer Jerusalem. I imagined how easy it would be for us, with such enormous resources, to conquer and defend the Holy Land. We were naive and indecisive. The Andolo's words now influenced all of our decisions and thoughts. We sought the advice of this cunning little sage on every matter nothing was decided without him. It was no different with Alexius. Then Dolo advised us to accept the young man's proposal. What the Pope might have against his decision was not relevant to us anymore, given the prospect of Byzantine wealth. So then Dolo seduced us to this momentous decision. Crusaders and Venetians would sail together to the greatest and best defended metropolis of the known world. Oh well, well, this scenario was nice, but honestly, it was rather annoying, especially with these envoys. For we didn't know where they would come from, but apparently they come from everywhere. So that is quite a bit of a challenge. I would have preferred it to keep coming here, or you know, that way instead of coming all the way here, because that was this was the most absurd one. Here, okay, there I can tolerate it, but this here, okay, come on. But anyway, it was still a fun scenario, a nice uh, elaboration on historical events over here. And we've definitely been pushing forward and the air fighting each other. Well, that was also nice. I would have preferred them to spam even more troops and attack in groups. Well, Simon, he didn't offer me too much of a threat either. But um, it's alright. So uh, we'll continue on as soon as possible on the next mission now. Which will be mission... Uh, Five, the sack of Constantinople but for now this is it so I hope you guys enjoyed it if you did give it a like button and subscribe to my channel if you're new and wish to support it do you always recommend something record game together that's possible as well just write down comments box below or join my discord server so I can have a chat chat about it till then I shall see you guys later.